they're not taking care of this school at all. This is the entrance to detention. So basically it was called SAC. If you show up to school like more than like two minutes late, you can't go in through the main entrance. You gotta go in through that entrance. You gotta sign off that you were late. Of course I was late every day. If you got into a fight, you go to SAC. Selling drugs, you go to SAC. If you fought a teacher, if you was having sex with a teacher. This fucking high school, it was everything going on in this motherfucker. Even though I didn't show up to my classes, when I showed up, I was like a straight A student. I didn't need to be in tutoring except for like math. But because I didn't have like food at home, like after school, I activities every single day you don't leave the school till like 6 7 p.m and then i discovered the theater and i ain't leave the school till like 10 p.m every day we would use the cafeteria like a theater like because we didn't have an actual theater we put on real shows like we did the titanic and that motherfucker and i got orchestrated like a whole chase scene with like stunts and stuff and i remember like i was like boom we're gonna come out that door come back in through that way come back out or whatever so like we really turned this shitty ass building into something special All Authorized personnel only. I'm an alumni. Really like calm out here though. It used to be fucked up. It used to be dangerous as fuck out this motherfucker. It was a viral fight that happened right here. It went viral because a nigga recorded his face instead of recording the fight. Definitely fought a whole bunch of times on this street right here. And I didn't start now one of them fights. We get to fighting over here. A grown adult broke up the fight by pulling out a gun. And that was kind of like, whoa. One of the first times me like hearing gunshots having to run into my house happened right over here. Everybody lived so close together too and nobody liked each other. So it was like, it was strange. Like you would fight somebody, you gotta walk past their house the next day. Everybody who went to this high school pretty much walked home. There's only a few people that rode the bus. It'd be like a whole police squad, like cars from here all the way to Seat Pleasant to make sure that kids wasn't fighting and trying to kill each other and shit. It was like jail. That's what I described. It was like a low security jail. It was like, yeah, bro, I went to jail, bro. It was called middle school and high school in PG County, Maryland. From Golson Middle School to Fairmont Heights High School, that was like a six year bid. We had a secret vending machine that we wasn't supposed to have. You know, we was eating in that motherfucker. Honey buns, big Texas and shit. Like we was really in jail. Like we wasn't eating school lunch, we was eating noodles and noodles and, and fucking honey buns and shit. If you was like two minutes late to your class, you had to go to detention. You'd be trying to get to your class. Oh, we doing a hall sweep, sweeping the halls. The adults is like, this is kind of strange, y'all. They do kind of treat y'all like, y'all like prisoners or some shit. There's a clip on the news. I'm pretty sure I used it on the language of ghosts. This lady's like, oh my gosh, like Fairmont Heights High School has a, a, a fight culture. It fucking did. On the news, they was like, yeah, this girl took her, her daughter to the emergency room after a fight at Fairmont Heights High School and the kids were virtually unclothed. Like they was beating the shit out of each other to the point where like they was like naked after the fight. Now many are saying there's a quote fight culture at Fairmont Heights High. First tonight, there's been an arrest in a murder case that has touched the community of Seat Pleasant, Maryland to it's his core. City. That's good news, I'm gonna be okay. Ask me to pose for a picture and I'm fucked. I got no idea. I'm gonna start rubbing my hands together or something. It's rolling? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> when he lived in Pennsylvania, they were saying he was like feminine because he didn't drive a tractor. He didn't look like Brock Lesnar. Not a tractor. <laughs> What the fuck was they driving? Tractors. Tractors? Real? To school? To school? I guess you would be feminine compared to them <laughs> motherfuckers. That's the thing about like masculinity really being like a performance because it's really based on what other people think. You know what I'm saying? I identify as like a masculine he, him. I don't care if you think this is some rock star shit or you take it to be feminine. You know what I'm saying? It's some creative shit I wanted to do. Do I feel like it's feminine to be creative, expressive, colorful, no. But you might feel that way, but I don't give a fuck what you think. Don't put my car in a shot, but like I'm not gonna drive a muscle car because that's what's supposed to be masculine like this is a feminine car i don't give a fuck what you think <laughs> i remember when i was in elementary school i wanted to dye my hair blonde my mom was like no you can't do that i'm like well chris brown did it like this was before he was doing a wild shit i was like john cena did. He was like they're entertainers though so you can't do that because you're not an entertainer look at me now i don't understand why we feel like like famous artists can do things that regular people can't like i never wanted to wear assless chap chaps or whatever but if I wanted to, like Prince, like why, why I gotta be an entertainer to do it? Why don't you just, if you want to? Okay, that's crazy though. <laughs> <laughs> you know like, why you can't do that? <laughs> <laughs> Good news, I'ma be okay, my. Ra they were here, bro. That's crazy. Good news, I'ma be okay, my wrist slick like Saddam Hussein. I went to prom with the damn AK whole flow like the God who saves. Make a fuck nigga walk by faith. The high school niggas bought my tape. The difference is niggas bought your plays. <laughs> what did he say? He said, can he subscribe? To my channel? That's hilarious.